Hi guys, this is Aiden's Toy Trove. Today is the Tuesday after Christmas and we have been super busy during the holiday season with our retail and our online store. Um, so I'm finally beginning to catch up on opening some of the boxes that have come in. This box is um, from Briar. It's number 712234 and I believe the contents are the Briar Web Special Run, Eldora, and um, Soul, the Gold Charm Pinto cows. Um, one thing to note is we rearranged at the store here so I lost kind of our clear or our clean background ambiance of our fireplace. So in the background there you'll see a lot of briars um, but you know that's probably okay. You guys probably don't mind staring at briars right? You see um, we got a bunch of dolls in with our last order and then there's just um, part of the traditional briars. Um, that we stock here in the store as well as some pack and accessories and then way over here are our retired briars and I'm working on restocking those shelves. Okay but back to Eldora and Soul. Um, these were kind of just one of those um, surprise web special runs that Briar did for Collectors Club members. Uh, I believe they were limited to 350 pieces and they sold out very quickly. I believe they sold out within 12 hours they're available again to 2017 Collectors Club members, so those with an active membership had the opportunity to purchase these. Um, I did make a web blog post about them, so um, I'll put that in the uh, link down at the bottom so you guys can check that out. Ooh, I did not know this came with a Briar catalog. Cool. Um, wow, I just have not had much time to do much of anything. Uh, we do have quite a few of these um, large buyer catalogs as well as the smaller um, pamphlet size catalogs. So if you guys need a catalog, please let me know. Uh, I'd be more than happy to send a catalog with your order. So um, Eldora and Sol are the cows and they... Um, as, as far as I know, Briar does not have any current run productions on the uh, wildlife molds, which is kind of sad to me, which includes the cows, because um, they're very popular. People ask about them a lot, but um, they're also very hard to find. Diwali was um, the Briar Fest 2017 special run, white cow. She's chalky white, gorgeous, comes with a, a kind of an Indian themed blanket and a bell. Um, she's totally awesome. So I want to show you the, the, um, these cows. They came with a lot. They came with this pamphlet size catalog. And it looks like Briar changed this one up a bit because the last catalog had my niece in it. And this one does not. And we also, this is old news by now, but it also has a Briar Fest 2018 off to the races um, little flyer in it. And it includes a picture of Brass Hat, who will be the Briar Fest 2018 celebration model. Okay, so you're probably saying just shush and get on to uh, unwrapping these cows so we can see the cows. Um, all right, so we'll do that. Uh, let's see here. What can I yak at you guys about? Other than being busy, um, let's see here. Ah, the 2018 um, Briar lineup looks absolutely spectacular. I haven't had time to um, post any of that to the website. We will be receiving the 2018 Briars and we will be taking pre-orders on them, but I just have not had time to add them to the website yet. So uh, if you are in want of any of those, uh, we will be taking orders for them. I don't know that we'll be receiving the brick and mortar horse again this year. We probably won't. So um, you might want to secure that elsewhere. It's a Roxy mold and uh, a Pinto. Very pretty. Other news creeping up on us, like, so sneakily, is Briar West, which is held in March in Albany, Oregon. Uh, originally, we had definitely planned to go. Um, now it's kind of up in the air. Um, the, the, booth, the booth is actually very reasonably priced. I just, I just don't know that... Um, We'll be able to make it this year with with having the retail store here and um, the travel expenses um, it's still a possibility but i'm i uh i can't guarantee that we'll be at briar west i'm hoping so though because it sounds super fantastic um briar is having i believe some sort of silent auction where they will be donating a 
um, design your own test color, which is awesome. And they'll have some other unique items. Um, we definitely will not be showing this year. Uh, it was just too much with the booth and um, trying to show at the same time. So uh, we definitely will not be participating in the Briar West show. Um, however, if we attend um, the Briar West event, I would love to take some of the workshops. There's a great lineup of um, artists who are just putting on fantastic workshops. Last year, um, I kind of sort of took one with Maggie Bennett on uh, horse head sculpting, which at was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Maggie is a wonderful teacher. I had a great time, came away with a uh, 3D printed horse skull and uh, it was partially done, but I kept having to run back and forth between the booth and, and the workshop. So um, that was kind of hard, but I'm thinking um, maybe if I can do something on uh, Friday while um, people are busy with the show, uh, the, the booth will be less busy. But again, Briar West is kind of an iffy thing. I'm gonna say it's a 50-50 chance of us going. If we do attend um, Briar West 2017, we will and should have Copper Fox, some of the new Copper Fox horses available for in-person purchase. Uh, we are not yet selling any of the um, most current run Copper Foxes on the website, but we do have seconds and retired Copper Fox horses available on the website. Um, so most of the seconds have been sold out, uh, but we do still have a number of firsts. So just email me if there is a retired uh, first quality Copper Fox that you're looking for from uh, um, last year. Uh, and if we have it, I'll get it listed to the website so um, you can uh, think about purchasing it. They do have to be purchased through the website. We're not allowed to sell them um, like through Facebook or model horse sales pages or anything like that. So checkout does have to be completed through the website. Now, uh, back to these cows. I think you saw when I unpacked the, um, the, um, the this one, her hooves, her hooves, her horns, these pointy things on her head, her horns were wrapped in a bubble wrap and the little uh, calf also has his head wrapped in bubble wrap and I'm trying to keep all this packing together. I don't really know why I'm putting it back in the bag because after I'm done with these guys I'm going to just wrap them back up and put them in the box and we still have not set up a photo studio here at the store so these guys have to get wrap wrapped back up, brought home and then put into the photo tent and uh, have their pictures done. So that's kind of a pain but we do plan on getting a photo studio in a um, kind of a, a video studio set up in the back we do have extra space so you won't have to maybe stare at these briars I mean it's just horrible right guys so this is the super cute calf I believe this is um soul he's a gold charm um, I, I don't know what the name in cow is I'm just gonna say pinto because that's what we would say for a horse he has a, this is kind of disappointing, a fairly big black mark on his left haunch there, which is pretty bad in my opinion. Um, as far as I know, and, and what I'm guessing is that Briar does not have any replacements of these. Um, you know, I, I waited a while to open these. Plus, we live on the West Coast, which gives these uh, horses and cows, yes, cows, uh, transit time of about 10 days from New Jersey to California as they're shipped UPS Marcos. I'll give a quick email um, to Briar see if maybe they have any replacements, but I'm guessing they won't. So um, if you're in the market and you're not looking for something necessarily live show quality, these um, will probably be listed uh, at a discount. Um, I don't have any pricing information. I think these are really cool. I do think I will keep a set for myself because Briar did a really nice job on these. I am very impressed with the masking job that Briar did. Um, I don't see any smudgies um, on the spots, the gold charm spots. Um, the eyes are neatly painted. So Briar did a really outstanding paint job on these. If you ask me, it's very simple. Um, it's obviously a, a decorator. So there's not um, like a lot of, there's not any shading or uh, anything like that that you would expect to see but on a realistic model but I want to point out that there, there is shading the um, the, the nostrils are gray there's a little bit of um, natural coloring to the muzzle 
the hooves are natural colored and also the I have no idea what these little um, um, dark marks on the the bottom of the the fetlocks are called on a cow so okay the little uh, thingies there are painted um, a dark gray very nice I wish I had a ruler here so I could show you guys um, the scale of the cows because I think I've had a couple people ask but I think you know what I can grab a um, some models from the shelf right over there and compare them uh, for you this is the dairy cow I believe I always get this mixed up I believe the pulled version is the one with the horns because um, this is also released without horns but I could be wrong it could be vice versa let's take a, a closer look at um, the calf one of the things I noticed is that the uh, the cow or I guess the heifer the insides of her ears are solid uh, gold charm um, the insides of the calf his ears are kind of a pinkish natural color he also has the shaded gray nostrils and the natural shading on the front of his muzzle the natural colored hooves and the we're going to call them the doohickeys on the bottom of the fetlocks that are painted with little um, black dots and these guys are totally adorable the masking on this cow is absolutely fantastic um, Briar did a great great job on that I wish I wish the masking on their horses turned out this nice because this is really great um, I don't have any other cows to compare them to so I can't tell you if this is the the pattern um, the same pattern that was most recently released on the black and white um, in dairy cow set I suspect that it is but I don't know so I'm going to look up some pictures and um, I'll let you guys know what I find on that so I will put the cows here for you to admire for just a minute while I pop on over to that shelf so I can get some horses for comparison okay so what I have here is the really 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 large briar um, I'm going to slaughter this Car Carolice bull um, he's big he's humongous uh, but I'll show him to you in comparison to the dairy cows you can see that he is a lot bigger and I think this is um, true to life like um, if they were real um, this bowl would be quite a bit bigger. I'm not sure that that's really sh giving you a very great shot of showing the size difference. So let me move them up here um, so you can maybe see just how much uh, bigger this guy is. And this guy is actually really cool. He's the PBR Autograph Collector's Bowl. Totally awesome. Again, well, I'm putting the um, heifer over here. Um, I'm trying to line up their back feet there so you can see, um, maybe see uh, how much bigger this guy is. You can see his face peeking out. These guys are so cute. I love them. I love them, love them, love them. See, a lot bigger. Um, the next one I'm going to grab um, that maybe I will first show you um, next to this bull is um, the Briar Proud Arabian Stallion. You guys should be pretty familiar with his scale so I'll put him next to the bowl so you can see you can see that's a really big bowl and I'll put him on this side and um, then maybe I can get them side to side this is actually kind of nice having this extra table here which um, is a, a lot more room than I have on my kitchen table at home so this is kind of nice I find it a lot easier to do videos here because I'm not in such a rush um, to make sure that the cats aren't um, jumping in the packing and wreaking havoc. So again, this is the Proud Arabian Stallion and the Carolice uh, Bull. And now I'll, I'll show you um, the Proud Arabian Stallion compared to the, uh, the, the dairy cow and calf. Just let me put this bull back so he doesn't get banged around. I'll be right back. So here we have the Proud Arabian Stallion who I think I even wrote on here what exactly he is. This is the 211 Proud Arabian Stallion um, in Alabaster and he was produced from 1971 to 1981. So um, a lot of the people um, who come in here, the retail store, aren't that familiar with the briars. So I try to um, provide information like that so they know exactly what they are. Okay, so here we have 
three heifer cow and the Proud Arabian Stallion. So you can see, um, I, I, I think these guys are pretty in scale to each other. Now I'm noticing there's a bit of a curve on this table, which is kind of annoying. It slopes up in the middle here and then back down to the sides. Um, so that might be skewing the um, proportions that you're seeing on the camera just a smidge, uh, but hopefully not a lot. And so I think it's um, fairly reasonable to say that these guys are, uh, these cows are traditional in scale and um, fairly dead on size wise with the horses. And then just because I have this Proud Arabian Stallion out, I wanted to just point out something that I noticed with him. Okay, so this is the last view I'll give you of the uh, Briar Heifer Cow and Calf set with the Proud Arabian Stallion. And I'll just set these wonderful moo-moos over here while I show you something I noticed about this Proud Arabian Stallion. He has a, um, what is called a uh, bee stamp on the inside of his, this is his right hind leg. And I don't know that the camera's gonna focus, so I apologize if it doesn't, but I'm just gonna kinda turn him around and hope that you can see this, this B where my finger's pointing at some point or another while I'm rotating this guy around. And what this B indicates is that um, this briar was made from a different type of plastic um, than was typically used, like the, um, not it's not the, um, gosh, what is it called? The, the tonight acetate, plastic, it, it's different. So Briar put a B stamp on the models that were made of this different plastic so that when they were reground that they would not mix it with the other type of plastic because they wouldn't be compatible. So a lot of collectors are after this rare B stamp. So, you know, it might be kind of fun for you to check some of your older models, see if you have any B stamps in there. Um, it's fun. I love variations. So that B stamps kind of fun little um, history on them. I, I think, you know what, I'm not even going to really gander on uh, or guess on, on when this B stamp was in production, but it was sometime between um, the 70s and the 80s. So hopefully you can see it there. I'm trying to think what else I can tell you guys because it has been forever since I've made a video and I'm, I'm really sorry. We've just been so busy at the store and then getting things packed and I haven't had the time or the energy to make a video. Again, today is the Tuesday after Christmas, so the store is fairly quiet and this is exactly kind of what I expected and anticipated and was hoping for was some quiet time so I could get caught up with um, some of my model horse things that I just have not had time for. So again, this is the Briar Web Special Run Eldora and Soul. They're the Gold Charm Pinto uh, Dairy Cow and Calf set and I believe they were re released in November of 2017. Um, yeah, so, oh, run size of 350, I just, I, I, I'm pretty sure it was 350, I wanted to note that Java, the, um, the, from the Big Cat series on Nakoda, he was a, I believe, a run of 300, I think, and then they had St. Moritz, who was absolutely fantastic, and gosh, I don't know if I got a video of him, um, but he was another winter web special run, um, I, which I believe was um, released in December, I think. And he was a run of 380. So Briar seems to be varying their web special runs from somewhere between um, 300 and 380. Um, or 200, wait, it might have been even 250 for Java. Java was either 250 or 300. But there's, Briar seems to be playing with those numbers um, to try to uh, produce the right amount. And I think you can see it in the pictures here. I didn't mention it. I just kind of popped in my head. But um, these guys have a high gloss finish. They're glossy. They're really awesome. I'm excited to get them home in, in the photo tent. So I will let you look at them one last time while I put Mr. Proud Arabian Stallion back on the shelf. So next up is probably my least favorite part is repackaging these guys and their original wrapping and then I get to bring them home and unwrap them again for pictures. But I do, I do enjoy um, being able to work with um, these models. They've been my passion and um, I, I'm happy that I can share these with other people who are also as enthusiastic about them 
as I am. So thank you guys for listening to my ramblings. Um, again, I'm sorry that I haven't gotten a video out to you guys in, in weeks. Gosh, it might even be a month. But uh, now that things have slowed down for the holiday season, you can expect to see more um, regular videos from us. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys had a very happy holiday and um, I'll chat at you soon.